Hi guys, Evie here. After watching this video, you will know everything about Nega Speedy Rabbit, our next single SSR event suit. Speedy Rabbit is a blue or cool SSR. This suit has 7 items and all 7 pieces have stronger recolors. The event is going to run from October 20th to the 26th. We're going to take a look at the original, awakened, and reconstructed gold version as well. First, let's take a look at the original suit in all four skin tones. We have Moonlight Tune, Nikki Space Skin Tone, Glowing Ardor, and Passion Rhythm from left to right. This outfit looks pretty complex at first glance, but it's really simple as there are only seven items. The hair, jumpsuit, boots, robot bunny, headphones, gloves, and those tattoo thingies on her arms. My favorite thing about this is probably the robot bunny because you'll get special poses and take pictures of Nikki with the big robot bunny we saw in the trailer. I'll show you how to later in the video. Not gonna lie, the suit is pretty well made. The bunny headphones and hair are so so cute. However, there's more potential. So if I were paper, I would make the boots into booties and change the over-the-knee style to stockings. I adore over-the-knee boots in real life and Nikki's red hair, but I think it gives us more styling possibilities if the devs separated the speedy bunny boots. Of course, then the jumpsuit and the necklace-like charm can be separated too, but nope, it's one item. Let's then awaken it. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Speedy Rabbit and Dashing Bunny, the awakened version. It's so hard to get the names right. I always call this Sue Speedy Bunny for some reason. I like both versions, but I think my favorite would have to be the reconstructed version. Hmm. I don't know. They're all really great. I, I don't know. I can't decide. The white and magenta suit will now change into black and blue. I love ruined suits because they're so futuristic and cool. We need more in the game for sure. I still really like the headphones, hair, and bunny robot. It's also amazing how the hair changed from pink ombre to blue ombre. I think this hairstyle suits Nikki so well. I wish we had more recolors of this instead of a thousand color of those same pair of jeans. If you don't know what those are, you can check out my Designer Intel Hub video, episode 2, I think, where I showed, I showed all the recolors of those same pair of jeans. Here's a reconstructed version in all four skin tones. You will get a gold version of this adorable big bunny if you have the dress piece of this suit. And once you level up the dress to stage 1, like the previous two versions, you can use this bunny in photo mold, or even in the three-dimensional photo mold. One thing I need to complain though is that we need more ruined style things. Please, paper. It was really hard finding matching accessories for this jumpsuit and bunny because we had a limited number of futuristic looking clothes. I found this pair of boots, but they're silver instead of a more warm tone color. It took me so long to find the right pieces to go with this, but it was hard and I'm still not happy with it. Let's now move on to reflection, archiving, cost of the event, and more. First, let's take a look at the On Awaken cover art on the left and Awaken on the right. You can find high quality versions of these in my Discord server under the wallpaper channel. The link is in my video description. Also, join us if you're looking for a super friendly Shiny Nikki community. We share tips, chat, talk about lore, and all sorts of things on the server. Everyone is super friendly and helpful. I'm so grateful to be part of it. You guys are the best. Here's the Awakening Rewards Order when you level up Speedy Rabbit and Awaken it to Dashing Bunny. This set has 7 pieces total and all of them have stronger recolors. I spent way too long cutting Nikki and her bunny robot out from the background so I have to include this in one of the slides, although it didn't fit very well. Sorry. This is a typical decent reflection skill for the arena. I would not upgrade this if you already have a decent blue SSR, as it would be a waste of resources. Let's check out the styling multiplier comparison graph. The best blue reflection is still Krista, but logically she probably won't be available so soon, I think. The second best is Luming, the blue UR reflection from Chinese New Year 2020. 
Remember that this is a reflection ranking for the arena, and we're only evaluating Speedy Rabbit, so I didn't include all blue reflections in this. Then we can see the three reflections that are about the same strength. We have Nikki Before the Dawn in this pile, slightly better than Speedy Bunny when they're at the same level of passives and color reflection skill. Loen Flying Free is as strong as Speedy Bunny, Speedy Rabbit, sorry. <laughs> Lastly, we have Zoe Mercenary Queen. Remember, again, this is a ranking for the arena. Memory Stairway is different, thus I would still use Zoe if you have her all leveled up, as she's decent in the arena and strongest in Memory Stairway. Here are all the resources needed to level up or awaken Speedy Rabbit in Chinese Nikki. I have finally completed the item raw score comparison charts. So this took me forever because I didn't want to grab anyone else's work directly and I wanted to make sure I fully understood everything before presenting it to you guys. Thus, I calculated everything and made these charts for you. I would really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe if you haven't already, like, comment, or share because it's taking longer and longer for me to make these everything about videos since I kept adding more pieces to it. So your support would mean the world to me and will definitely help me make better videos in the future. Also, a special thank you to my boyfriend for making me a numbers calculator. So I didn't have to go back and forth calculating every single number with the Google calculator, which asks me to do all those captchas way too often. You could pause the video and take screenshots of the charts, or I'll also upload all slides in my Discord server. It's really time consuming and a ton of work to gather these, so please give me appropriate credits if you're going to share them and please don't claim these as your own. Okay, enough with all those. Let's take a look at what I've been working on for the past months. I divided up the charts by categories, so it's easier to compare the raw scores directly. I think they're pretty straightforward. Let's go over them from left to right. First, item names. You could find these by searching in your index or dressing room. The second column shows you the designer. This is not very useful in searching the items, but it can remind you of where some of the suits are from. The third column is the names of the sets from which the clothing pieces are part of. If it says none or is left blank, then there are individual items that you can often find in pavilions. The blue tag one and tag two columns show you the item raw scores. Blue means the chart is sorted by their blue or cool attribute since Speedy Bunny is a blue set. Sorry, Speedy Rabbit is a blue set. Tag one and tag two are usually useful when you're looking for specific tags to clear memory stairway stages. They will be multiplied by your stylus academy and memory stairway bonuses as well. Rarity is pretty self-explanatory. URs are, I think, always 100% are always higher scoring than SSRs. Lastly, we have obtaining methods. If you're looking for a higher scoring item, I try to list all the obtaining methods that I can recall so it will be easier for you to find it. Here's the list of estimated pulls and costs. This suit only has seven pieces, so it's not going to be too hard to pull for. It usually takes about 40 to 80 pulls for seven pieces suits. I think it had a mini cumulative recharge thing that gave like 5 or 10 event tickets or fantasy tickets and upgrading materials, but I could be wrong because I forgot to do a screen recording of the recharge on the Japanese server. But here's a pavilion preview when it ran on the Japanese server. For whales and dolphins, we'll still have the same SSR pavilion packs. We also still have a quest event that gives us rewards and event stages to clear, just all the usual SSR Pavilion stuff. This is the background and stickers we can get from this event. I really love them. We're technically getting one pose from the quest thing that's similar to Life of the Party during Laudan's Night. I'm not sure if you have to complete the suit because I can't read Japanese, but I assume usually you have to pull about 20 to 30 times to complete the experience thing fully but sometimes you only have to clear all the event stages and then 
fill up the entire bar, so I'm not sure how this works. As for the pose, you can use this pose whenever you want with or without the bunny robot. However, you can only get the left two poses with the bunny robot. I'll show you how right now. We're now at the home page. Let's enter the dressing room. Find the bunny robot. You don't have to be wearing dashing bunny or speedy rabbit, by the way, so we're just gonna keep my outfit like this. You'll notice that there is a magnifying glass icon on the left of the bunny robot thumbnail. Click on it and we'll be able to see it transform into this super adorable big bunny. Click on the second button on the left to enter the photo mode with the big bunny. Now you can select from a list of normal poses which you can still move Nikki around or scroll down to these special poses. Let's try them out. I'm actually surprised that my outfit didn't clip into the bunny and the fact that the game actually let me use the pose in this outfit. Uh, the dress looked a bit weird, but I'm still glad I was able to pose with it. I wasn't able to find a way to change the background though, unfortunately, but I mean, we can always just cut Nikki and the bunny out from the original background and put them somewhere else, like what I usually do. I also have to show you the bunny in 3D. It's way too adorable. Let's go back to the dressing room. Select 3D photo room on the left here. Click on the bottom left button. You can select the background or the room Nikki is in in the first tab. In the second tab, you can see all the furniture or things you've bought before in here. The game only allows you to use limited space, so sometimes you can use multiple smaller items, but we can only use one bunny at once. The third tab is presets. The game can organize some of the furnitures for you. Okay, let's go back and pick a bunny. We can also move the bunny around like so. Then click on the bottom right button to save your setup. You won't be able to use the bunny poses in normal pose selection tab on the right. We'll have to click on the magic wand looking tool to interact with the bunny. And the two poses are hidden in here. Once we select one, we can then zoom in and out or change angles to take the perfect picture. That's all for the three dimensional photo option today. I didn't want to make the video too long. I hope we'll get it sooner on Global. I can't wait. The set is indexed in Ruins of Galaxy, and you will get 150 pink gems upon completion of the set. It is archived in Game with a Twist. Our Arena Season 2 UR suit is the only UR in this archive. So it is important if you're planning to use that as your main purple reflection. If not, I would say it's a rather useless archive because the rest are SSRs and SRs. All right, that is it for this video. I hope my video helped explaining everything you need to know about Speedy Rabbit and the Hot Pursuit event. Do you like this suit? Are you going to try polling for it? I'd love to know what you think. Let's chat in the comments. Also, best of luck to you. I hope you can get the bunny robot thing in your first 10 poll or with a free poll even. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!